welcome back. So today's review is the AMG G63 4x4 squared. It's higher than everything on the road. You just feel you want to go over everything and anything. So today we're spending some amazing time over here in Edis. The location is beautiful. Let me show you what it's all about. The 4x4 squared is a behemoth creation and only the people at Afelderbach can pull it off with such class. We saw its birth for the 2017 model year as a G500, but now it becomes a proper AMG with the same 585 PS unit as on the normal G63. The squared weighs in at around 2.9 tons and it sits much higher thanks to the use of portal axles, which I'll explain later in the video. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to like this video and consider joining my membership. Now, first of all, can we talk how beautiful this location is? The snow has melted over here and it is and the greenery is everywhere. The car is looking extra nice under the sunlight in this Nardo gray paint. You can see just how high this car is off the ground. This car can run me over and I'll still be 100% doing fine. We have a blacked out emblem on this car. As all 4x4 squared, you get carbon fiber accents everywhere. So you can see on the fender over here and then on the top with the lights. Man. Hi Dogo, hi, yes. <laughs> I mean, he's just enjoying running around in this field. I'd love to be a dog right now running around. And it's even more extravagant from the back. You can see we have a spare tire with a carbon fiber cover, as you can see. I mean, it's funny that this car has so many carbon parts. For an off-road vehicle, you have to be very careful or at least PPF it because, I mean, that is some very fancy carbon you are going to scratch <laughs> if you're not very careful. We have a huge steel bumper down at the bottom. I mean, that looks so badass. And obviously on all AMG G63s and G-Classes in general, this beautiful clicking sound. And this is the seat of Sven. I mean, really enjoyed the ride, obviously, with some nice fancy leather and carbon fiber. Now for reference, this is what I look like standing next to this car. I'm 186 centimeters. You've got 35 uh, centimeters of ground clearance, which is honestly amazing. And when you open the door, you have this nice side step that extends. Jumping in is pretty, Easy, honestly. I mean, the view that you have sitting inside this car, again, you're just higher than everything on the road. Sitting inside the AMG G63 4x4 squared, you definitely have an emblem over here, which reminds you you're in the more extreme version of the G-Class. Uh, Alcantara steering wheel, two digital screens. Uh, the new G-Class has a different infotainment system, obviously, but in this model, we still have the old Mercedes infotainment system with the touchpad, the scroll wheel, and then your volume knob over here with an exhaust button. And then you can see the controls on the steering wheel are actually shortcuts for these buttons over here. So for the exhaust, the suspension, the manual shifting, for example, for this one, uh, you can basically use it from here. So let me just scroll through that. There we go. So I can basically like turn it on or off and I can switch between the different modes that I want to change. Uh, obviously exhaust button, keep it on. more burbles as you heard in uh, sport and then you can obviously change your driving mode from here so switching to sport plus obviously and then other than that it's your normal amg interior with a lot of carbon and then as you can see we have center rear and front locking diffs in that order so this is why you get one two and three now i'm not really sure if today we are going to be locking any differentials but i mean we're gonna be definitely overlanding uh, like my review on the Ineos grenadier overlanding, uh, overlanding is a lifestyle life. and then because this car is huge and you have a spare tire in the back you have a camera which you can obviously turn off but I mean, you can see the wide view that they have behind us. All right, guys, so jumping inside the 4x4 squared, this thing I have to say is higher than everything on the road. This is the highest SUV I think I've driven in my life. Um, and you will not worry about any single thing when you go over it because, again, we have 35 centimeters of ground clearance, which is insanely high. And the turning circle, the owner was telling me that the turning circle isn't bad at all. In fact, it's even better than your normal G. This is going to be a bumpy road. <laughs> it is so fun. And I have to say, you're pretty stable. The seats do hold you in amazingly well. Again, with the bolstering on the side, it hugs you so damn well. What makes this car so high? So it's sitting on portal axles. What these mean is that the axle hub is actually higher than you would. It's not in the center of the car. It's offset. So this means you get incredible amount of uh, ground clearance. If I were to comment about the comfort of this car, it's actually very comfortable, which I did not expect, to be honest. Um, you have huge all-terrain tires, so they do absorb a lot of the road imperfections. Struggle is not in the dictionary of the AMG G63 4x4 squared, that is for sure. 
Um, and please take a look at that view. I have to take a picture because what? This is beautiful. Let me just go down and take a couple pictures. The new 4x4 squared sits on independent suspension and uses a more refined system for the portal axles as they were known to make a bit of noise. Previous generation. It is, however, a tad lower than its predecessor, but it's what makes it more daily drivable, though it's still higher than all cars in the market. It is a luxury SUV that can pull it off. From showing up to a fancy dinner to attacking off-road trails, you know you can do it all with added class. It's for the people who love the G, Exponent 2. Guys, look at the view that I have. Oh my god, it is so peaceful. It's a bit windy and it's a bit cold, but I mean, what? This is amazing. I have to say, I am not really surprised by the capability of this thing. It is so damn impressive. Nothing, I mean nothing, can make this car stop. Unless you hit like a huge boulder. I feel like it can cross a wall, uh, again, with the steel braces. Uh, but I mean, yeah, this is the view that I have. God, it looks amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm just enjoying this review so damn much.